this movie, you're going to learn how to quickly create MIDI clips, save MIDI clips, and create variations on MIDI clips in Ableton Live. You can quickly create a MIDI clip on any MIDI track by double-clicking on any empty clip slot. This immediately creates a little workspace here in the clip view where you can double-click to draw MIDI notes or go into draw mode and draw multiple MIDI notes. You can erase MIDI notes at any time by going out of draw mode, selecting the notes, and deleting them. If I click the clip launch button here, nothing happens. The reason for that is that I don't have a MIDI instrument on this track. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Live Devices browser, MIDI Instruments, and choose a simpler instrument, and drag it onto my MIDI track. Now clicking the Clip Launch button will launch the MIDI clip and trigger the instrument. I can switch MIDI instruments at any time by double-clicking the track title bar, clicking the Hot Swap button, and changing the instrument. I'm going to go ahead and save my clip now by going to the library, and I've got my My Clips folder, which you saw in an earlier movie. I'm going to drag the clip onto the My Clips folder, give it a name, and I've saved my clip to a folder. I can then drag my clip at any time onto an empty spot in the clip device drop area or onto an empty MIDI track. Let's delete the original one. And there's my clip. I can quickly create variations on my clip by selecting it, holding down the Alt or Option key and duplicating it, selecting the duplicate, and moving some notes around. And that's a great way to quickly create variations on multiple clips. I can edit my clip here by clicking the clip loop brace and shortening the clip or lengthening the clip. I can add effects at any time by going to my plugin devices browser and adding a VST or audio unit effect, or going to my live devices browser and choosing a MIDI or audio effect. And I can save that as part of my clip by selecting the clip by selecting the clip dragging it to a folder giving it a name and now when I add this clip to a new track it contains both the instrument and the effect and the clip information so that's a quick look at creating MIDI clips in Ableton Live.